Okay, so last section that we're going to look at this week is 4.3. Um, we're going to split it into two days. Okay. So we're going to look at writing equations of lines, which is what we've been we're doing all week. Um, sometimes we'll use point slope. Sometimes we'll use slope intercept. But we're going to focus on a, two certain kinds of lines now. Okay. We're going to focus on parallel lines today, perpendicular lines um, tomorrow. Um, does anybody know what that means? we we'll start with parallel, because that's what we're going to do today. If two lines are parallel, they're identical to each other. Okay, what do you, can you explain that a little more? Like when one line's going one way, it has like another line going the exact same way. Going the exact same way, yep. Yeah. So what does that mean about them? Yeah. It means like they can't like cross or yeah. something. Yeah, they'll never cross. So when we talk about parallel lines, we're talking about two lines that never cross. Okay. So that's what we're going to talk about a little bit more uh, today. All right, so just a reminder, um, point slope, um, I don't think this is on your guided notes yet. The first thing you have is point slope. We're going to talk about slope intercept, just to review. Um, can someone remind me, what's the equation that we use when we do slope intercept? Yep. Y equals mx plus b. Yep, that's the y equals mx plus b. Okay, we might we might use that one a little bit today, but the first one we're going to talk about on your guided notes um, is the point slope. Okay, so just a reminder of what that is. Okay, can someone remind me? You guys can put this in your um, in the box. What's the formula for point? I don't think we have those. Yeah, we do. Well, we did point slope yesterday. So what's our what's the formula for point slope? Yep. Yeah. Y minus y one uh, m and then x minus x one. Okay. Anything else that we need? Oh, an equal sign between the y one and the m. Yep. So on your guided notes, where it says point slope form, uh, and then there's a box. Oh, I guess I was going to write it down here. Well, there you go. Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X1. And remember, M stands for slope. And the X1 and the Y1, that comes from a coordinate that they give you. It's a coordinate that the line has to go through. That's pretty much kind of a review um, of the formula for us today. Right. Any question on the uh, on the formula? We're going to use that formula because a lot of the problems today are not going to give you a y-intercept, and you don't need the y-intercept for this type of problem. This one. All right. So let's. Um, start with an example. Okay, so it says write an equation in point slope form. And we're going to focus, I know it says parallel or perpendicular. Today we're going to focus on parallel. Tomorrow we're going to do um, perpendicular. All right. So I might, I might give you the directions on how to do both, but I think for today I want to focus just on practicing one of them. Okay, so it's going to be very similar to what, what we've done before. All right. So you guys don't have the coordinate and the line here. So on your guided notes, you need to fill in the point 3, 5. That's the point that we want our line to go through. And we want it to be parallel to y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 4. Right, so let me show you kind of like what, what we're doing visually here. So let's take, um, let's take that. All right, 
So we want to be parallel to the line negative two thirds x plus four. Yep. Um, is it okay if I just tell? Um, yeah, that's okay. Um, so negative two thirds x plus four. That means it's gonna that line is gonna cross the y-axis at four, and a slope of negative two thirds down two, right three, down two, right three. So this is the line that they're giving us. It's not the one we have to find, but it's the one they gave us. So I want to draw a line that's parallel to that one. Now, how many lines could I draw that are parallel to that one? Multiple. Yeah, multiple. Yeah, I could draw one like this, that's parallel. I could do one like this, I could do one like this. There's lots of lines that are parallel to that one. But what's going to narrow down the answer is the line that I draw has to go through the point 3, 5. All right. So my new line that I'm going to figure out right now, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it has to go through that point. Okay. So it's got to look something kind of like that. Right. So i got to figure out the equation of the red line. That's what we're doing. Any question on what, what we're trying to find? All right, so let's see if we can figure out that red line. All right, so on your guiding notes, it says part one, plug into point-slope form. Okay, in point-slope form, a couple things, a lot of review here. The first thing you're going to write down is y. And it says y stays as y. So you don't fill in anything for the y. The next thing, you already have it on your guided notes, that the little dash, that's the minus. Okay? Nothing happens to the minus. That stays the same. Uh, what comes after the minus? It's y minus, and then what comes next? Y1. Y1. Yep. So y1, you have to figure out what that is. It's the number after the comma in the coordinate that they give you. So when we do it, we're going to go back up. We'll look at the coordinate they gave us. And we're going to write down the number after the comma. So let's, say, let's just put it off to the side. So in our coordinate, what's the number? after the comma? Five. Five. Okay, so when we start doing this problem out, we're going to use a five for y1. Okay, what's the next thing that comes right after the y1? Mm -hmm. Equals. That just stays the same. So you don't, you don't do anything to that. What's the next thing that comes after the equals? Yeah. M. Okay, so m is the slope. Now, when you do the slope, you have two choices. The two choices depend on, is the question asking for parallel or perpendicular? Okay, I'll tell you what you do for both, but today we're just going to practice parallel. Let's go back to my picture for a second. The black line and the red line, they're supposed to look parallel. They're the best I could do. Okay, they, they're parallel. What do you think, if you compare the steepness of the black line and the steepness of the red line, how do they compare? I like the same they're the same steepness, right? They're the same slope. So when we're talking about parallel lines, parallel lines will always have the same slope. So if they gave you a line with a slope of negative two-thirds, and you want to find one parallel to that, your line also has to have a slope of negative two-thirds. If you don't have the same slope on each line, they are not parallel. Okay, so that's the key for parallel. Parallel lines, same slope. How do you find the slope? It's the number that's attached to x. Now, perpendicular lines, 
we'll um, we'll get to that tomorrow. So for now, I think um, we'll just leave the one and the two blank next to perpendicular, and we'll we'll fill those in tomorrow. Okay. Um, what comes right after the slope? This is more like a, a symbol. Mm. There's no B in this formula, not in point slope. Yep. Parenthesis. Okay, that just, just put the parenthesis. Um, what comes right after the parenthesis? X. And then X. X stays as, stays as X. Don't fill in anything for that. It's the same, same thing you guys wrote yesterday. And what comes right after the x? Minus. A minus. Minus just stays as a minus. And after the minus sign comes? X1. X1. So x1 is kind of like y1. You got to look at your coordinate. But this time you've got to get the number before the comma. I go up a little bit. Um, looking at our coordinate, what's the number that's before the comma? Three. Three. Yep. And I didn't write down the M, but if you look at your equation, what number is the slope in that equation? Negative two thirds. Negative two thirds. And since we want to be parallel to that, we need to use the same slope that they used. So we're going to also use negative two-thirds. If we wanted to be perpendicular, we would not use negative two-thirds. Perpendicular means the lines cross each other. If two lines cross each other, they can't be the same steepness. They have to be different. And I'll tell you how they're different tomorrow. All right, so we got y minus y1 equals m parenthesis x minus x1, and there's one more symbol we need uh, at the end. Let's see. Yep, we need one more parenthesis. And that's it. Okay, now, just like yesterday, they might ask you to take something in point slope and change it to y intercept y equals mx plus b. What's the first thing that you have to do on the right side if they want you to change to slope intercept? Distributive property. Yep, you gotta do the distributive property. Okay, so under part two, if they want you to write something in point slope form, the first thing that you have to do is distribute. Okay, and you're distributing, this is on the right. It's on the right side. So let's say you have something like this. Um, if you distribute that 3, okay, you don't have to write this example. I just want you to see it. Um, what's 3 times x? 3x. Three. Three and what's 3 times 2? 6. Six. Six. That's how you do the distribute. And then what's the next thing you have to do? Um, yeah, in this case you'd have to do what? Add? Uh, you wouldn't add negative one. You would add one. positive one. Yep. So then add or subtract the number that's on the same side as the y. Do you add or subtract? Well, it depends. You do the opposite of what you have. So add or subtract the number on the same side of the equal so side. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. It depends how big. You may have to go a little below it. You could also shorten it. You could just really say add or subtract the number on the left over to the right. If you wanted to shorten it up. So add or subtract the number that's on the left 
and put it on the right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's another bullet. I think that might just be an extra. Let me just see. Yeah, I don't have a. Um, I don't have anything for that third bullet. I think it's because I put point slope form as a bullet, and I had three on the board. That's why we're. So use that bottom line if you need more space. So any question on those those two steps? All right. So let's try um, figuring out some equations that are um, parallel. All right. Oh, actually, we're kind of doing example one as we go here. So example one, it said write an equation of a line that passes through this point and is parallel to this line. So we got our y1, it's 5. We got our m. m is whatever you see right here for today, not for tomorrow. Okay, but m is whatever you see right there. And then our x2 is the number that was before the comma. So let's, let's put it all together. See if I can get most of it on the board at the same time. All right, so there's the three numbers we need to use. Um, I think I'm going to copy them down just to make it easier. And I need more space. Okay, um, what was x1? X1 was 3. Uh, what was y1? Y1 was 5. And what was m? Negative two-thirds, that's what we wrote down. M was negative two-thirds. So you could just put this right below the bottom bullet. You've got about an inch of space. It's not going to take much, much room here. Okay, now let's write it out. So we've got y minus, uh, what comes next? Five. Yep. Negative two-thirds. Negative two-thirds. Parenthesis x. Minus three. Yep. Perfect. Now I just got to see the directions. Um, write an equation that passes through the given point and is parallel. It did not say what format to use. So we can leave it just like that. We'll, we'll do one where we do the part two, where we distribute out the negative two thirds uh, later on. But that's fine for this one. Any question on that one? Okay. So let's try um, let's try example two. Back to example one. Yeah. So now example two, um, pretty similar. I'm going to give you a point, and I'm going to give you an equation. And I want you to find a line that is parallel to this one. You don't have to draw it. I just want you to find a line parallel to this one. But the line that you find has to go through the point negative 5, negative 4. So let's say we're going to do the type of equation we learned yesterday. What are the three things that we need to figure out? Y1, X1, M. Yep. Y1, X1, and M. 
Okay, let's start with x1. Uh, x1 is the number before the comma in the court. So in this case, it is what? Wait, what was the question? What's the x1? Negative 5. Negative 5. Yep. That's the x value that the line we find has to go through. Negative 5. What's the y value that it has to go through? Negative 4. Negative 4. And we want our line to be parallel to the one in the black box. If two lines are parallel, they have the same what? Same slope. So my slope has to be the same as that slope. What's that slope? Negative 4. Negative four. Just a coincidence, the slope and the y1 are both negative 4, just that's the way it happens. All right, so let's write our equation. Uh, y minus minus 4. All right, and what comes next? Equals. Equals. Negative 4. M, which is negative 4. Um, then in parentheses, x minus um, plus. Um, well, let's, let's do it with the minus first, and then we'll fix it, because that's how we did the one on the left. All right, so then minus 5. Minus 5. Okay. And as we kind of already said, minus a minus turns into a plus, and minus a minus turns into a plus. Okay. And what what format is that? And what's the name of that type of equation we did yesterday? This is point slope. And that's perfectly fine for what they asked for. They did not say what format. But let's say they did ask you to change to slope intercept. What's the first thing that you have to do to change this to slope intercept? Distribute. You've got to distribute. And what are you distributing? The negative four. Yep, the negative four. What happens on the left when you distribute the negative four? Nothing. Nothing. Stays the same. What's negative 4 times x? Negative 4 x. And what's negative 4 times 5? Negative 20. Negative 20. Okay, is that slope intercept? No. Nope, it's kind of in between. It's halfway there, but it's not, it's not all the way there. What do we have to do to get the y by itself? Yeah, minus 4 on both sides. Okay, minus 4. And positive 4 minus 4? That's gone. What comes right after the equal sign? Negative 4. X. X. And what's negative 20 minus 4? Negative 24. Negative 24. Don't you do a fraction? No, nope, it's subtraction. Negative 20 minus 4, negative 24. I don't know if it's 4 it's negative 4 x. Um, you could put it over 1 if you wanted, but you don't need to. That'd be the only number you could put in the bottom. And what's this called? This is not point slope. This is y intercept. Slope. Slope intercept. Yep. Any question on, on that? All right, now we said that parallel lines have what again about their slopes? If two lines are parallel, the slopes are the same. the same. So what if I did this? What if I took this black line? And you know, I'll just make it a different color so we can kind of see it. Right, so make it green. Does everyone agree that the green and the black line have the same slope? Yes. What if I do that? No. Are they parallel? No. No. Why not? They have the same slope. 
Because they're still touching mm -hmm. parallel lines are not supposed to touch. Right, parallel lines aren't supposed to touch. So these have the same slope, but they're on top of each other. So they're really the same line. Okay, so that's kind of important to, um, to write down. So on your guided notes, where it says, remember, lines are equations. Um, lines are equations that have slopes that are the same, and the y-intercepts have to be different. If it's the same slope and the same intercept, then they're the same line. They're right on top of each other. That's, that's not parallel. Okay, so it has to be the same slope, but they have to cross the y-axis at a different spot, so they're not touching. Okay. That's parallel. So those are what you fill in on the three lines. Same, different, parallel. Any question on what to put in the, uh, the blanks? Okay, um, so the next question, it says, recall, what is the formula to find the slope between two points? So we got to do this when they don't tell us the slope. Does anybody remember using the x1, y1, x2, y2? That's pretty sure that's a point, slope. So what do, you, what do you do with these four things, though, to find the slope? There's a fraction that we have. We have a formula. It's rise over run. And how do you find the rise? What would go in the top? Oh, y2 minus y1. Yep, y2 minus y1. And then x2 minus x1. And then x2 minus x1. Yep. So where it says, what is the formula to calculate the slope? You can write that in that blank. The formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Why do the y's go on top? Um, because rise, because the formula is rise over run, and rise is up and down, and the y-axis is the one that goes up and down. That's why the y's are in the top. Run is left and right, and the axis that goes left and right is the x. That's why the x's are in the bottom. Okay, we're going to have the formula. All right, so let's look at these three lines. Um, you guys don't have the coordinates, you have everything else. You just need to fill in uh, the coordinates. So it says line A passes through these two points, line B passes through those two, and line C passes through those two. So we don't have any pictures. And we're trying to figure out if these lines are parallel. So without pictures, what do you think we're going to have to find? And that will tell us if they're parallel or not. We're going to have to find it for each one of these lines. The slope, exactly. We're going to find the slope of each one of these lines, and if two of them come out the same, then we're going to know that they're parallel. Right. Okay, so let's start with line A. So we're going to have to do the slope formula three times. So for line A, okay, just focus on these two. Can anybody tell me what I would put in the top to start to find the slope? The y s. Yep. And what numbers would those be? Um. So those are the x's. No, they're three different numbers. So we could do three minus negative two. You can do it in that order. We just let's label them first. So x one, y one x2, y2. So if I label them like that, what's, what's the order it would go in the top? Uh, 
What's no, negative, negative two, y2 minus y1? So negative 2 three. minus 3. And what would go in the bottom? Negative 3 and negative 1. And negative 1. Okay, what's negative 2 minus 3? <coughs> Um, that'd be negative 3 minus negative 3, or negative 2 minus 3. Oh, wait, negative 5. Negative 5, yeah. yeah negative five. Oh, I was thinking multiplication. And what about <coughs> negative 3 minus minus 1? Well, negative 2. Yeah, so that's going to become a plus 1, and that becomes negative 2. So when I simplify that as much as I can, what's the slope of line A? You can leave it as a fraction, though, but just simplify what you can. Negative 5 over 2. Mm, well, it's negative 5 divided by negative 2. So what's a negative divided by a negative? Positive. Positive. Okay. That's the slope of line A. Do we know if it's parallel to line B or C? No. Not yet. No. What do we still have to find? The slope. Slope of? Um, B and C. Yeah, we're still going to find the slope of B and C before we can answer that question. Okay. Let's do line B. Okay, let's find our slope. Okay, if we number them everything the same way we did up above, um, what would go in the top to find my slope of line B? Negative 2 minus 2. Yep, negative 2 minus 2. And what would go in the bottom? Negative 1 minus 1. Negative 1 minus 1. Okay. What's uh, negative 2 minus 2? Uh, sorry, negative 4. Yep, negative 4. And what's negative 1 minus 1? Negative 2. Okay, it is a positive because you're dividing a negative divided by a negative. What's 4 divided by 2? 2? Oh. 2 What is it again? 3, 2. If you take $4 and split it between two people, how much does each person get? Two. Two. Yeah, so not a half, we get two. Now, is that parallel to line A? No. Line A has a slope, if you take 5 and divide by 2, that's 2.5. That's 2. So lines A and B are not parallel. All right? Let's find line C. So if we set up line C the same way we did A and B, um, what would go in the top? Um, negative 2 minus 2. Mm -hmm. Negative 2 minus 2. And 2 minus 4. And 2 minus 4. Yep. Okay, what's um, negative 2 minus 2? Negative 4. Yeah, we just did that up above. That's negative 4. And what's 2 minus 4? Negative 2. Negative 2. And what does that reduce to? <coughs> 2. <coughs> so do we have enough information now to answer the question? Yes. Yes, we do. Determine which lines, if any, are parallel. Okay? So you tell me which which lines, if any, are parallel. B and C. Yep, B and C. So line B and line C are parallel. Why? Because they have the same slope. They have the same slope. Yep. So lines B and C are parallel. 
which is something you might see in geometry. This symbol means parallel. Two bars next to each other like that. Yeah, I'll write the word parallel, but you might see that. Um, lines B and C are parallel because they have the same slope. Okay, any question on that? Right, now, example four, um, it was pretty much the same thing. So if we have extra time, maybe, maybe we'll come back to it. Uh, but I just want to make sure we get to an example five kind of problem, because example five and six are the same thing. So I want to make sure we get to one of each, each type. Okay. Yes? What is the box? Yes. Right, so we'll come back to four um, if we have a little bit of time. OK, uh, so somebody remind me again, what is what we did on Monday? What's slope-intercept form? Yep. Y equals mx plus b. Y equals mx plus b. And which letter represents the slope? B. Um, M. So M is the slope. And what's the B? B is the y-intercept. Yep. So remember, when we have a line, we have an equation in slope-intercept form. In order for two lines to be parallel, they have to have the same slope, slope and they have to have different y-intercepts. Y yes. Okay, so that's what you're going to write down where it says 1 and 2. Number 2 is to check that they have the, the same slope and the different y-intercept. But in order to check that, you have to make sure your equation is written like this. If it's written like this, that's not in the right, that's not the right order. You can't have something like that. You've got to make sure that this is by itself. And we've been practicing that, okay? Getting that y by itself. Okay, so make sure you get the y by itself. And then check that the number with x is the same. That's the slope. If the number with x isn't the same, you're done. They're not parallel. You can stop there. But if you figure out that the slopes are the same, double check that the y-intercepts are good. Okay, so now what I'll do is I'll give you guys three lines, and I'm going to ask you the same question I did in example three. But this time you're not going to have to find the slopes. You're not going to have to use y2 minus y1. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, just sign up. Okay, does everybody have the, um, the one and two? All right, let's look at uh, example five. So here are your three lines. Line A is y minus 4x equals 5. Line B is y equals 5x plus 6. And line C is y minus 4x equals 4. I know they're a little, a little fuzzy, but. Out of those three lines, there's only one of them that's written the way I said it should be. Which line here is the only one that's set up in the correct way? B. Okay, this one's fine. Y equals 5x plus 6. Okay, so either below it, you've got a little bit of space, or off to the side. I need to fix line A. Can we just do the plus 4x? So we've got y minus 4x equals 5. What do we have to do to fix that one? Plus 4x. Yep, I'm going to do plus 4x and plus 4x. Minus 4x and plus 4x cancels. 
And what's on the right hand side in the correct order if you do what we have there? 4x plus 5. Yes. 4x plus 5. So there's line A. There's line B. Um, how about line C? Is that one okay? Yeah. We gotta fix it. Yeah, we gotta fix it. So let's write it down. Okay. Uh, how are we gonna fix that one? Plus 4x again. Yep. I'm gonna do plus 4x. Negative 4x plus 4x is gone. What's gonna be on the left side? Y. Just a y. And how about on the right? 4x plus 4. 4x plus 4. Perfect. Now we've got all our lines the way we need them. We've got line A, line B, and line C. Okay, are there any two lines here that look like they would be parallel? A and C. Why? Because the slope is the same. Slope is the same. And the y, y yeah. And the y intercepts are different. Why not B? Why would line B be parallel? Because slope and slope is different. The slope is different. The slope is different, then they're gonna cross. Okay. So um, determine which lines are parallel, and it says explain. So I'm, I'm gonna ask you why they're parallel. Okay, so you would write down. Lines A and C are parallel because um, they have the same slope. So we have same slope. And what was the other thing they had? Different y intercepts. Different y intercepts. Yep. Same slope, different y intercepts. Any question on that one? All right, so we've gotten through one of, of each type. Um, we skipped four and six. Anyway, let's try six. Okay, we'll try that one now. It's going to be kind of like example five. So on your guide notes where it says example six, do now, see if you can figure out which of those lines are parallel. And if any of them are parallel, just write down which two. And if none of them are parallel, say yeah. Say none of them are parallel, tell me why none of them are parallel. Okay, and we'll walk around and kind of check in and help you guys if you have any questions. So remember the first thing you want to do is make sure that all your equations are in y equals mx plus b. Um, are any of them in y equals mx plus b? One of them. Yeah, which one? B. B. So this one's okay. All right, so we can work with that. Um, let's fix line A. Line A is y minus 3x equals 5. What do we have to do to fix that so it's y equals mx plus b? Add uh, 3x equals 6. Yep. Add the 3x to both sides. And if you do that, what does it give you? If you apply on, on the left side, yep. and equals 3x plus 1. Yep. I always want to put the number with x first. So positive 3x comes first. Positive 5 comes second. Perfect. And there's your, there's your new line A, so we fixed it. And let's look at line B. Uh, no, line B is good. We're going to look at line C. Okay, so y minus 5x equals 3. What do we have to do there to fix it so the y is by itself? Uh, subtract the 5 on both sides. 
Uh, can you say it again? To get the y by itself. To get y by itself, yeah. Yeah, you subtract the 5 on both sides. Um, well, we want to cancel out negative 5x. Oh, so I was just at. So what's the opposite of negative 5x? Add it. Add the 5 to both sides. Um, careful, not the 5. We gotta add more than five. Five x. Five x. So I'm gonna add five x to both sides. And what will that give me for line C? Uh, y equals three. Y equals five x plus three. Yep. Perfect. So now we've got our three lines, A, B, and C. Which one of them, uh, which ones are parallel? None. None. Why, how come no lines are parallel here? Uh, none of the slopes are the same. Yeah. So no lines are parallel because none of the slopes are the same. So no lines are parallel because... Oh, it's no lines are parallel because none have the same slope. Okay. So that's finding equations of parallel lines. Tomorrow we're going to do the same kind of thing, except it's going to be perpendicular. So the difficulty of tomorrow is about the same as today. Okay, so just a reminder, homework uh, is the 4.3 part 1 worksheet. And we have our last regular test of the term on Friday. And we'll have our midterm the following week. Again, not counting it as a midterm in this class. It's going to count as a regular test. So it's not going to be worth as many points. It'll be a review of pretty much everything we've done. Yep.